Hey everyone, in today's video, I will be going over how to use Postman to um, test the Amazon Ads API. Well, getting started with Postman, downloading it, and then um, just seeing what it's about. Because in Amazon's ad API documentation, they say that using Postman allows you to get like, allows you to test the API and look at frequent requests and even export um, code samples in different languages. So I want to get started with it. So right here, we have it right here. It's a tool that allows developers to make API calls using a user interface. It can store variables and perform automations, and it can generate code samples, which is really interesting. Um, so I'm going to be doing that from API snippets. So I'd love to be able to, let's see what they support, supported languages and frameworks. Yes, perfect. It supports Python requests, which is what I use, um, which is perfect. C URLs, PHP, gotcha. All right, so this is what I will be exporting it to. So it supports the, the language that I'm using. All right, um, how to set it up. Before you begin, decide what version of Postman. If you don't have it, you can download the desktop application. You can also free an account and use the, I'm going to download the desktop application so download the app to get started using postman api or if you prefer you can use the web version mac intel chip i actually don't know hold on uh let's see about this mac intel yeah it looks like it's an intel graphics perfect all right All right, let's do it. All right. Open it. Perfect. All right, get a free Postman account, join 25 million. Okay, so I am going to, yeah, let's just pop it in and um, let me see here. So actually what I'm going to do is since this is kind of sensitive information here, um, cause I'm going to have to get like an email and a password to set it up. So what I'll do is I'll just go on ahead and do that. Not on this video. Wait, wait, wait or continue with the lightweight API client. Um, I'm trying to think, should I just do it and then change the, yeah, I could do that. Let's, well, let's see what happens on so, that. Uh, actually. Create free account. All right, um, cool. All right, so I'm gonna have to create a username and password to get signed up with this thing. All right, everyone, this one is a short video of me not doing much, and you know what? To be honest, I'm making these videos just to be consistent, to do it every day, even if it's not that great. <laughs> so wanted to let you know, so what I will be doing is I'll create an account for Postman, and then, um, uh, yeah, I'll create an account, username, password, and then I'll go through the quick setup on another video. So what I'll do is I'll probably create the account now and then, you know, possibly tomorrow, uh, go in, let's see, to complete this guide, you will need at a, 
of a login with Amazon approved to use the ads API. Login, postman, okay. Quick setup. All right, so so this stuff I'll have to not be able to see. And then download the postman environment file and collection file from GitHub. Import both files. To verify the import, select collections. Cool. Configure the environment. Hold on. Oh, cool. I might just watch this, man. Yeah, hold on. Let's watch the entire thing here. Once everything's perfectly organized, I'll start working on my thesis. Save link as. Save link as. API, personal, create workspace, import, JSON, open, import. Collections, oh, cool. Adds API environment. How long is this thing? Two minutes, that's not bad at all. Amazon. Oh, gotcha, so. Okay, so you gotta get your client ID and your client secret. Oh, okay, cool. So it's gonna teach me how to do that. Client secret, yep. Save. Verify that the redirect. Gotcha. Allowed return. All right, I have that as well. Okay. New private window. Let's see what it says here. Oh, I'm going to need to do that. Okay. All right, let's figure it out, man. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. So then that's the video for that. Is this the same thing? Step one, import. Step two, configure. Okay, then I'll do that afterwards. All right. Gotcha. Okay, client ID, client secret. All right. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if it works. Wait. I don't think I'll need to do this because I can get a token. All right. All right, everyone. This one was not as exciting, I guess. This was more about reviewing Postman and seeing how I can use it to. And the reason I want to test Postman out is just because um, uh, I'm having some trouble making some calls on Python and just kind of, I think it's just might be home structuring the data. I don't know. But, um, if there's something out there that can help me like this tool and I can export it to like the language that I need, then why wouldn't I use it? Because it's just going to speed things up. All right, everyone till next time.